course of 2022. Um, yeah, some of you might have not been on this channel before. Um, this is my wife's channel. I don't really... I'm on it quite a bit, doing my updates and sharing the vlogs. But, <clears throat> yeah, I've got a lot of uh, weight loss vlogs on this as well. But this is for my, my goals of uh, 2022. Um, and these goals are... <laughs> Something for me to aim at. Um, you know, one of my goals is going to be aim to get to my target. I don't really know what my target is. Um, you know, <laughs> um, I suppose I just get down to a comfortable weight that I'm comfortable with and I feel good. You know, I think I want to be around about um, 16 to 15. Um, maybe a bit more. It, it depends because I'm quite a tall lad. Um, you know, I am quite broad-shouldered as well. Um, and also I'm doing a lot of weight training as well. So I'll have to factor that in. Um, so, yeah, I probably, I might get down to 17 or 18 and I might feel happy. Um, it all depends on how I feel. Um, so, yeah, I, I want to get down to a target that I'm happy at. Um, I'm hoping to do that by the summer, really. Um or at least before I go on holiday, um, November next year, which there'll be another video about that at some point, um, and vlogs, <laughs> so I won't say where, but you probably can guess, um, but yeah, um, we are planning that already, um, my next goal is going to be, um, to find a job I like, um, you know, I like my job at the moment, but I want to find a job that's rewarding and, you know, that's going to, um, you know, change the life of my wife and myself. And I want to find a company that look after them people um, instead of, you know, trying to pay you, get away with paying as, as, as less as they can. Um, you know, I know... Uh, I do have a talent. I'm, I mean, I work in IT, um, and I know that in other companies they pay you a lot better. So um, yeah, so I'm looking to move on from that my current position. Um, you know, it's a bit complicated what's happening. Um, I I'm going through a, um, basically I went through discrimination at work and. I've got a grievance in and they've not um, held any responsibility for it. Um, and it's kind of shocking, really. Um, you know, it's the one thing that you want them to do is put their hands up and say, look, you know, we're sorry. This is what we're going to do to, um, you know, to apologise. And this is how we're going to fix it. Uh, but no, it's just been, you know, they just try and put fins on you, try and blame you, try and bring you down. You know, and I just said, why, why, why do I want to work for this company? Why, why would I want to work for them anymore? Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm on the verge of handing my notice in. Um, I think it will be quite soon um, because I don't feel that I have been treated fairly. Um, and I've been offered a, a few other jobs as well. Um, I've got other interviews and I've got another big interview. So at the moment, I'm just weighing up my options to see what, what's going to happen, what's best for me, what's the best um, place to go. Um, you know, I do know that, uh, you know, it's a good time for me to find something else and um, find that what suits me and... Um, I've got a unique skill, so um, in IT, um, and it's quite hard to come across them. So um, yeah, it's it's interesting to see how many people that are actually are interested in me. And um, I think before I just like just I did I did believe in myself, but I think losing all this weight has gave me more confidence, and you know, um, and it's opened my eyes um, with fins and. I'm just pushing myself more and more all the time now and um, you know um, I had a comment yesterday um, which I, 
you know, I I just don't let things down, you know, let me down anymore. You know, if people want to say nasty things or say something about me, go ahead. Just do it. Do what you want. Stay what you want. You know, it's not going to affect me. Um, you know, if you're going to say something, say it. Um, that doesn't judge me in my character as a person. It judges you. Um, and, you know, I had someone I knew for quite a while said, called me a, basically a prick. <laughs> and, uh, and I just thought, well, you know, if you think like that, then that's your problem, not my problem. I've got nothing to do with that. So I don't have to, um, explain myself to anyone. Um, you know, I, I have grown in confidence. I'm happier in myself. Yeah, I might have done a few too many paces now and then, but I don't care. It's nothing to do with them. If they don't like it, they just unfollow me. Um, you know, I'm not here to pray, please it, everyone. I'm here to please myself. I'm here to make myself happy. And, you know, if people want help on the way, I'll help them, you know. And, you know, I, I like to help people as well. And if they need help, I, I'm always there. My inbox is always open. Um... You know, I'm a very friendly guy. I've got time for anyone that needs to have a chat about anything, any mental health issues, um, any weight lo any weight loss issues, or or eating disorders, um, or anything about life. You know, I'll chat to anyone. You know, I don't. You know, if your if your opinions uh, are different to mine, I respect that. I will not dislike someone because of their opinions on something else um everyone has their own opinion um so yeah um i'm not just gonna dislike someone for because they think a different way to me everyone thinks a different way and we're all different and we should embrace ourselves and um and if someone calls you like a prick or a twat and um and you know the real reason why they're really saying that is because they're scared of you, um, they don't like your confidence and they're weak in their self. So, um, you know, I just don't feel like, yeah, that doesn't bother me. Just let them think what they want to think. I just carry on what I'm doing to make myself better, um, to make myself a better person, to improve my mental health, to improve my health overall. And secondly, to be successful in life. And that's what you need to do. Um, you know, negative people are the ones that always bring people down. Um, you know, I'm, I, I've cut out a lot of negative people out of my life over the years. Um, and it's the best thing I've done. And, um, you know, you should cut out negative people as well. Um, I've cut out family members who are negative. Um, you know, I just cut them off completely. Um, because these people will just be negative. Everything you do, even you do something positive, they'll find a negative on it. Um, and even if you have your dreams that you are aiming for, these people will try and crush them and not believe. The only person that can believe in your dream is yourself. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if anyone else doesn't believe in you. If you believe in you, you will get there. Um, and just get your head down and work hard. You know, you're going to have failures. You know, I'm not going to lie, you're going to have lots of failures in life. And then failures will hurt for some time. But you just need to realise these are temporary. And you just need to pick yourself up, dust yourself off. If you fail again, get up, pick yourself up. doesn't matter how many times you fail, you just keep picking yourself up, moving forward, learn from your mistakes. That's what I believe in anyway. Um, and... You know, if I can do things like that, so can you. Um, and if you have a positive aspects of life, I believe positive things happen. And if you don't give up, positive things will happen. If you fail and just stop, then you're not going to get anywhere in life. So, um, yeah. Um, but no, just keep pushing yourself. Be happy. That's all I'm going to say. Um, my third goal this year find something like a, a suit that I love once I hit my target 
find something I love, getting a really nice three piece suit, that's really nice, and I look smashing, um, and do something, go out and get out of my comfort zone. Um, so that will be my third one. My fourth goal is maybe to do something out of my comfort zone. Um, yeah, I have no idea what, but something that will push me and, um, you know, like a challenge. Um, I'm quite a confident person anyway. I've always been quite confident, but I'm really confident now. And I'm always one of these people that will just keep pushing myself. I want to do something out of my comfort zone. I, I don't know what that is, but, you know, at some point I will find out what that is and I will do it and update you and I'll keep you updated on what I'm doing and what challenges I'm doing. But, yeah, do something outside the box. Um, challenge myself. Um, well, I'm always challenging myself anyway, so um, that is the good part about, about it. Um, and then... Yeah, number four, <laughs> I believe, um, my gym goals. So, I've been going to the gym for quite a couple of months now. And I've had my personal training for a couple of months. And I really, really have enjoyed it. I've been going at least four to five times a week. Um, I've got a schedule now that I do and follow. Um, I'm lifting heavier and heavier weights. Um, yeah, so I just want to carry on with that and um, end up picking more weights up. And I want to build myself, um, you know, I want to build my muscles around my body. Um, I just want to tone up more. I've done that, um, you know. it. You know, I can't believe how well I'm toning up and how not much skin I do have. Um, so yeah, hopefully I, I will do that um, naturally. Hopefully I don't have to go down the, the process of um, surgery. Um, but if I do, I will go down that stage and get it, get it done. But I believe that I can do it naturally. Um, it's gone quite well so far. So yeah, um, I will push myself to go to the gym keep on a target um and yeah it's maybe i think a goal that will be great is to maybe lift 300 kilos um that is my goal for the gym <laughs> uh, i'm not i'm not that far off it so yeah i think if i can pick 150 160 in the space of a couple of months um I think I can get to 300. Um, you know, I'll get there because I believe in myself and I will get that. So, um, yeah, that is just another another tick off my list um, that I'll be doing. Um, I'm not going to do any goals to travelling wise because it's uncertain next year. Um, we don't know what's going to happen. And... Um, so yeah, I won't do any goals to like travel next year. I'm, I'm hopefully going to somewhere, um, but I've been loads of times before. And if you're a regular to this channel, you know where we go normally. So um, yeah, hopefully that will that will happen. Um, but yeah, in a few years' time, I do want to go to Japan and places like that. Um, but um, for now, we're going to where we normally go. Um, because a lot of people would have missed the magic. Um, so yeah, um, most definitely uh, be going to that. Um, number five is more savings. I like to save more money um, and be more financially stable. Um, I think we've done quite well this year. Um, you know, we've, over the years, we have spent money here and everywhere and not really saved anything, but, um, and Sophie had over a year and a half off work because 
for mental health. Yeah, just build up my savings for rainy days that we we have encountered. Um, because you know when I did encounter that rainy day, I, I didn't need them savings. Um, when social was off. Um, so yeah, I need to get that back up um, to what it was and more. Um, and also, I like to film more content um, regarding you know traveling. I like to go to Japan and places like that. And, um, you know, I like to have a family, um, but yeah, we uh, have struggled with that, but I can't really go in too much of that. Um, there's another f video that Sophie's talked about that, but yeah, at some point. Um, yeah, um, and number five, I just want to be confident in my body, be happy with my body and proud of my body. Um, you know. I don't want to look in the mirror and go, ooh, I don't like myself. Um, you know, I want to learn to love myself and, you know, be confident in my body and be happy. Um, so, yeah, um, that is something that I want to do, uh, be confident with. Um, you know, I'm not going to say I want to go on, on and be like, you know, a bodybuilder or anything because... That's something I probably won't do. Um, you know, I want to get muscles and train that way, but I don't think I want to be a body body builder. Um, you know, I don't think that's that's me. Um, <laughs> but you know, I want to be proud of my body and keep myself healthy and fit for the years to come. Um, you know, I've got really into my. My training so um, you know something I might take up at some point you know to help other people um, but yeah I, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at um, so I won't say anything too much regarding um, that gold but yeah um, I think they are all of them um, all my goals at the moment um, you know, I might have missed one or two because I didn't write anything down. I'm a tickable bloke. Um, I thought I'd just come on here and win it. Um, <laughs> I didn't really prep. Um, I, I had thought about it, but I didn't write anything down because that's me. I, I thought I'd just win it today, see what happens. and um, I'm normally quite organised uh, with everything, but today, nope, sorry. <laughs> so if I come up with something else, I will. Um, let you guys know. Um, I will do another video um, in the next couple of days, weeks, or whenever this comes up on. Um, you know, today is the the twenty eighth of December, so we are getting into the new year. So I think this one will be um, put on quite quickly. Yeah, I don't reload them up. I'm just, I just do the videos and give it to Sophie, and she will load them up for me. So, uh, yeah. Um, but no, keep an eye out for my video, uh, my review of 2021, about my personal review about what I've done and what um, I didn't really have any. I didn't really set too many goals last year. I didn't think I did, did a video, but. I'll talk you through on, on how I think it went. Um, you know, I had some pretty hard times and pretty dark times, and lately I've been quite tough as well. So, yeah, I'll, I'll talk you through all that. And um, but yeah, these are my goals for 2022. Uh, issue one to have a chat about anything uh, or want to send them a message. Um, I'm sure Sophie will link my. Instagram, I'll just message Sophie and she'll pass the message on to me. I'll write in the comments. I'll be able to answer any questions. Um, and yeah, I just want to say I hope everyone has a great 2022. Uh, I hope it's a lot better than this year. Um, and I want don't want to hear COVID anymore <laughs> like everyone else. Um, and we all smashed 2022 and uh, become the better people that we can become um, and be the best we can. Um, so don't get upset that 
uh, you've tried and failed something, just go for it again and keep going. Keep pushing yourself and you will get there. Um, you know, the harder you work, um, the quicker the goals will come. Um, that's what I believe in anyway. So yeah, um, I will speak to you soon, guys. And I hope you have a happy new year wherever you are in the world. See you later, guys.